What's up everybody? I'm fully prepared to win. Will do win, okay? So today's video, it's not it's not a project, it's not an install, it's not a mod, it's not anything. I've been I've been getting a lot of DMs from Instagram, from Facebook, and from uh, YouTube channel as well. I've been getting a lot of questions asked what I have done to the car, what mod that I like, what this, what that, what that. So I've been answering a lot of questions from different people. So I decided just make a YouTube video. So, so like that is for everybody. Everybody can see it. Everybody can get on it and see what's the mods done to this beautiful car. So like I said, guys, finally I decided to do the breakdown on my beautiful car. I love this Civic. It's a Honda Civic 2019 sedan, four doors. It's you know, it's the best car. No, I'm just kidding, not the best car, but it is really good car. So let's dive in and I'll tell you exactly what I have done to the car from E to Z, okay? So let's start from exterior, then interior, then the engine and everything, okay? So first thing first, how you guys can see the car from outside, it doesn't look too much stock, you know? I have, I have the stock wheels still in here, uh, but I was, I was running I have the stock wheels right here, but I was running the what they call them the the gram light rice gram light DR's 57s. Uh, I will drop the picture of those wheels that I have in winter time uh, and the stock wheels. And after that, we have this Conard. We have Conard from Aero uh, Aero Aerodynamic, and we have some. Uh, side markers from uh, unity performance in canada his name Hamza. shout out to you brother and we got some headlights from him as well too um from uh, unity performance as well they're really good it's good i got some yellow tent in there just for a look this one's from luminex i'm going to leave all this uh, stuff like down in the description so if you guys want it see exactly from where I buy it or anything you guys can find it down below so I'm just gonna leave everything down there so just in case I forgot something okay and because we're still talking about the front and we have these vents from uh, top one top one motorsport and yeah we have the front lip from Pro Civic and we got the grill I don't remember for oh yeah I got this one I think from Pro Civic too I don't remember exactly from where I bought this got some hunt, uh, carbon fiber uh, Honda badges from 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 someone in Instagram I literally I can't remember what's his Instagram all right well this is what I have done to the bumper we have the canards we have you know the 2020 style headlights or whatever you want to call them we have aftermarket grill this one is more more better bit more better for the airflow and stuff like that and we have some carbon fiber I have some carbon fiber mirrors you can show them here a little closer this is carbon fiber mirror whole replacement from synth you can see guys we got the logo from rice and I got some uh, I got some uh, doors handle, carbon fiber door handles from Zen 2. They're still holding good. They, they've been on the car, I think, a little bit over it. Over than a year now. They're still good, still fine. And we got side, we got side skirt. We got side skirt uh, from Aerodynamic with the Conard. And I got this uh, mad, uh, mad flaps from uh, Raleigh. I don't know what they call them, Rally Amor or something like that. They're, they're good, these uh, mad flaps, they help with a little bit uh, mods and stuff like that because my car used to get ridiculous dirty. After I put this one, it helps a lot. And they don't look too bad. I don't like them too much, the way how they look, but it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world, okay? Chill out, guys. <laughs> so, and make sure follow me over here. At California NAS and yeah that's what I have in for the exterior I mean not uh, this is what I have yeah for the exterior yeah I'm sorry come here back here again 
We got this one from Car Use. Uh, yeah, Car Use Design. Show them the logo right here. We got this little spoiler in here. And we got the custom carbon fiber badge in the back as well. We got the diffuser from EBC Dynamic, I guess. This one's called EBC Dynamic. Smoke the light too. Uh, we got smoke tail lights. I really like these tail lights. I'm thinking maybe replace them in the future, but for right now, they're good. Show them. Yeah. And the same thing we have here it says Aeroflow. Oh, yeah, that's what it's called actually Aeroflow Dynamic. And I have some uh, Suma. Suma lights. I mean, mirrors. <laughs> some Suma mirrors with the turn signals. You guys can see. Let's uh, dive in and show you the engine bay. I know you guys been waiting for this one. All right, let's check it out. So, um, so we have the shifter cables pushing from Acuity. It's somewhere right there. It's just a little darker. It's okay. Yeah, but yeah. You so, like I said, the the first mod was the sh uh, cable shifting pushing. That was a really good mod. And we have the 271 inlet pipe uh, it's been here a few months now I think like about four or five months it's been really good I have any cooler from PRL you can see oh my god it's a little bit dirty and I have the oil cap from Acuri it's good I paint this engine cover by myself uh, I painted it by myself in yellow looks pretty cool and I have Cobra intake from PRL as well too. I have Cobra intake going all the way down there. And I have City Moto Flex Fuel and I have oil catch can in here as well too. And of course, we don't forget the legs. One of the best legs <laughs> in the market. I like these Chloe overs. They are from uh, Fortunato uh, Chloe overs. They are five series. They are 500 series, I'm sorry. And they are 500 series. They are 24 ways adjustable. They're really good. They're like, they can get pretty stiff. They can get pretty soft. So whatever adjustment you like for your car, for your driving, they are pretty good. Um, they've been in the car now. It's like over six months. They've been, they've been really good. I have no complaints, no anything. It doesn't feel stuck, of course but it's a lot better. I have just a straight version. I'm thinking to get maybe Swift Spring in a few months here or something. But as right now, I'm happy with this Chloe overs. They're good. Uh, this first, they're good for straight back, for, for, for everything, you know? Just not uh, a professional or a pro racing setup, I would say. So this is the hood. Uh, we'll leave just the head open for now. Yeah, this we have Chloe overs. We got the 27 goodies in there. We got PRL uh, Cobra intake and any cooler. You can show them the any cooler down there. There, that's. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, and I forgot one more mod, which is the downpipe from 27 carat carat downpipe from 27 one downpipe. It was holding really good, and I have. Um, front pipe which is from FKS right that's what's called FKS racing in Los Angeles California that's what I got my down pipe I mean my front pipe but it, the, the down pipe is from 27 one down pipe it's it, the car sounds good uh, it the car doesn't let too much smell or anything from 85 or anything so that's really good that's why I went with the carrot version not a uh, uh, racing version as far downpipe and I have the 27 and I have 27 uh, rear mount as well for the engine 27 one mount for the engine so this is all the mods for the as far the engine so we good here then I got a 27 one a brick color purse big brick calipers they're really good uh, I really love them they look pretty cool uh, no issues no problems um, there is nothing I can say bad about them they're really good they look good they have 
Remark exhaust right here with the 27 one down pipe and FPS front pipe. As far mods for interior, I have the steering wheel from uh, Unity Performance. It's a uh, hydro dip. It looks good. It's not nothing too crazy, but it looks good. It's a lot better than uh, stock one. And what else I have here? I have this little garnish, carbon fiber for from uh, scent. And yeah, I got my dash cam. What I don't know. If you're gonna call that as a mod, I have a radar and stuff in there. I got my gauge from City Moto um, for the ethanol. And I got these covers. You guys see these um, suede covers in here. I got these suede covers in here too. A little carbon fiber back in there. Yeah, this is, oh yeah. Got, I got the the hybrid racing short shifter with the shift knob uh, and I got this collar or whatever they call it uh, from my QD. so yeah this is this this is all the mods that I have for the interior as right now uh, oh yeah don't forget about this uh, beautiful floor mats let me add some more lights in here There you go. I got this uh, floor liners or floor mats, whatever you want to call them, from Las Vegas. They are pretty cool. They're holding really good. You can see holding a lot of dirt and dust in there. Anyways, guys, there is another mod I really forgot about it because I can see it, which is the clutch from Eman in Los Angeles, California. Um, was was what would they call it? Retro, retro feet. I think that's what, it, what it's called, retrofit clutch from Amen, which is the Type R clutch. It's been here uh, over like about six months, five months now. I, mean, I think at least like six or five months now I have it in a car. It's been really good. It's holding really good. So anyways, guys, this is the video of today. Hopefully you guys like the video. I did all the breakdown and this beauty right here. So make sure guys subscribe and like and share the video. If, the, if you have any other questions, make sure, um, you know, reach out to me, hit me up on in Instagram. I'm a little bit more active in there. If you have any questions about the car or mods or whatever, the car feels really good. It's perfect. It's not perfect, but it's really good. <laughs> the car feels good, feels strong, no problem, no issues. I'm happy with that and all the mods that I have on the car, no complaints by far. So everything seems really good. Right, guys if you guys like the video make sure give me that subscribe and like and comment and everything and thank you so much for watching and thank you for your subscribe and your love and support man and make sure come back next week for another video because we're gonna be making videos every week okay all right cheers.